strikes landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Big punch land. Boom. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 74 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Accuracy rate in terms of strikes thrown and landed has dipped below 40%, 37% on the connection rate against Nate Diaz. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Rip the body there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What oh! he Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, nice right hand. Ferguson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh. An uppercut landed. Oh, straight right. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. And everything's landing with so much power. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get. <laughs> and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Back to his feet. Good punch, man. Oh, collar tie. Back and forth we go here. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like a win. Wow, actually got the takedown. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, now he's in trouble. Somehow stays in the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Close guard. Looks like he's going after the leg. We'll see if he can get the submission. Oh! He should be defending right now. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. Down into his mouth. <laughs> 20 seconds left to go in round two. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. 
This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on it. Ready to fight? Ready. Third Go. round underway. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, what a punch. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. El Kukui gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Man, how good is that jab from Nate Diaz? Almost as if he's been doing it for 20 years, right? I mean, he has been doing it. You know, he's got a great boxing coach in Richard Perez, a guy that he believes in, a guy that has allowed him to gain the confidence to stand with the best striker in the world. Oh, nice jab. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. volume of strikes and a good sign too doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there you do not want to eat too many of those no you can't he does not wind up with that. Oh! oh he's hurt bad he's hurt bad john he's got to press him he's got to go chase that finish down now working off of his back here looks like he may try to hip escape all right side control now well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finisher position. Now watch him go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. This might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't oh, see that very there often. it is. It's over. Oh! Woo! What a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's...